that, man. Yeah, cool cat out these streets, man. Think we was we was off for the week, man. Y'all ain't shit, man. Shout out to everybody over on Rumble, man. Make sure you hit that um super chat. Take the five dollar challenge over on Rumble. Y'all ain't y'all y'all can take that five dollar challenge on Rumble too. Don't be trying to be over on Rumble like I will rock it in. Um, yeah, man, sons, man, sons for everything up. The activity happening along a narrow one way street in San Francisco is causing. Yeah, smash, but she don't make me want to smash. She make me want to like marry her and shit. Like I don't want to like, bitch. You all fucking put together and shit, man. I want somebody to donkey fuck and shit in the goddamn break room and shit and break the closet in the break room. You ain't gonna be able to donkey fuck her in the closet in the break room. The activity happening along a narrow one-way street in San Francisco is causing major problems for homeowners and businesses. They say years of complaints over drug dealing, public defecation, and substance use are falling on deaf ears. The trouble spot is Willow Street near Van Ness Avenue. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim hit the streets in the neighborhood and shows us what city leaders say are hurdles to solving the problem along with proposed solutions. It's hard to believe driving through the areas of Van Ness Avenue and Willow Streets. Jesus Christ. People live all up in these fucking buildings over here. Good people, too, allegedly. Good people, good Democrat voting, good well many people who care about underserved population. That's fucked up, too. The people that live around here are good. They want to make, they want the world to be a better place for everyone. They think that drug, it's, it's terrible that drug addicts addicts it's terrible how republicans treat these people we're better than them he's a bunch of good people that live around here in these buildings and shit that gotta come out to this stuff they good <laughs> that's fucked up ain't it man the people that cut the people that live here got it they good people man hey yeah uh, I don't know about you, but I, a guy like me, I, I believe that. What that Clarence Thomas did, I, I'm, I'm not for it. If it was up to me, I mean, I, I doubled down on affirmative action. Because <laughs> me and my wife, I, we just love black people. We love homeless people. We love drug addicts. We love everybody. We're not like those racist Trump supporters. A street near Van Ness Avenue. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim hit the streets in the neighborhood and shows us what city leaders say are hurdles to solving the problem along with proposed solutions. It's hard to believe driving through the areas of Van Ness Avenue and Willow Streets, we're just blocks from City Hall. It has been very, very frustrating uh, that we have to, as a resident, had to witness this. Yo, look at these fucking white people, man. Like the trashiest white people live in San Francisco and Kensington. It used to be Appalachia, man, and West Virginia. What happened to West Virginia, man? West Virginia looking like, damn, man. That used to be us, man. <laughs> shit, West Virginia is like, shit, man. Witness this chaos every single day. Tent after tent open drug dealing, drug use, and a whole host of other safety issues. Oh, why they try to show the black dude smoking crack? Don't try to show the black dude smoking crack, man. Why you ain't show these white people smoking crack? Oh, he's shooting up. Okay. Never mind. But still, man, they, 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 uh, um, still, yeah, they only mean shit, man, man, shit, man, racism. 
whole host of other safety issues. There's a man throwing knives in front of our door. Are what residents of one condo complex say. <laughs> you have to throw knives, man. Listen, man. Listen, man, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. I'm not even going to hold you, man. If there was a barber shop across the street, a black barber shop on that block or across the street, they had to shut that shit down quick. Hey, cuz, man. Hey, man, get the fuck on, man. Hey, man, hey, move around, nigga, man. Hey, man, get your bitch ass the fuck around here. Move the fuck around. All it took is for a black barber shop to be over there, man. The the the, the black barber shop um crowd would have fucking pushed would have would have got rid of him, man. Throwing knives and shit at a tree and shit. Niggas would have been offended. Niggas would have been offended. Oh, he think we some bitches. <laughs> He'd have been over there for a couple of hours. They'd have been looking like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is that? You know him. Where he from? Once they'd have found out you ain't from nowhere, you ain't you an off brand, you ain't no nigga from no hood, or you ain't from nowhere, or you ain't you just some crazy homeless dude. Man, they would have fucking they they wouldn't even have to whoop his ass. They, he'd have just felt the energy, man. There's a man throwing knives in front of our door. Are what residents of one condo complex say they've been dealing with for years, despite reporting to 311 regularly. A lot of my neighbors, they have been doing so. And also, uh, after we post many, many like shots and, and create a ticket on 311, they never got back, back to us. They just closed the ticket. They just close the ticket without doing anything. I do feel hope, hopeless. An employee of a restaurant at Willow and Van Ness showed us the bars installed on the front doors after repeated problems. I am calling the police every day. Every single day, the same thing. Never change. I reached out to the Department of Emergency Management, asking what was being done with Willow Street. The city attorney's office sent back a statement saying essentially in part there's only so much they can do, citing a preliminary injunction order from the district court prohibiting enforcement of laws against sitting, lying or sleeping on public property against involuntary homeless individuals. But the city can offer services to the unhoused and law enforcement can take action. But as long as the homeless aren't obstructing public right of way, they can remain in place. Which is why shortly after we witnessed a street cleaning effort Friday morning. Like a one hour after two hours, everybody come back again. Residents also say they've been reaching out to their supervisor, Dean Preston, who sent me this statement, saying in part he's lobbying for community ambassadors for the area. And 300... Look at this white lady. She probably thinks she's so fucking cool walking her dog up there. She probably, this, this white lady ain't no fucking a drug addict. She lived there. She looking like, oh, shit, man. <laughs> Fuck, man. And guess what, she, guess what her, guess what her um, response to this, guess what her answer to this is? Can anybody in the chat tell me what her answer to this is? To what's going, what's happened to her community? Does anybody know what her response and her answer and her um, solution for this is, man? Yeah, more shit. More, more fucking democratic policies, man. She would double down, man. She thinks twice as much. Whatever she, Whatever they did to get here, do it twice as much. That'll fix it. <laughs> twice as much of that shit will fix it, man. Shout out to Tex47 on Rumble. He says, here's $10 for the kitty to buy a soundboard plug-in for StreamYard so you can sound balance your panel guest. A soundboard plug-in. I don't know what a soundboard plug-in. I got to, let me look that up, man. Salute to you, bro. Um, soundboard plugin, man. Before I forget, man. And yeah, oh yeah. Let me hit this. Let me let me um, let me drop the link, man. Soundboard plugin. 
Maybe they got one on on um Streamyard. I don't know. Yes, they. I have heard people complaining about some of y'all levels, man. Uh, let me drop the link, man. These people crazy. Shout out to everybody watching on Rumble. Shout out to everybody watching on YouTube. Oc Nation TV, Oc Nation Gold. Yeah, I'm gonna look into that, man. Which means that you know, when I get a chance, man. Um, salute to everybody, man. Let me put the link in the description box too, man. Um, damn, I keep forgetting the. Um, I be forgetting to um, monetize this video. I don't know if it's gonna be monetized, but probably not. Um, <sighs> I tell them the things they want to hear. You got me. Now I know what love's for real. Oh, yeah, man. I feel juvenated, man. I got me, got me some food in my stomach, man. Who is 12 a.m. p.m. older sports? I don't know who the fuck that is. Who are you? 12, he ain't even got no fucking face up there, man. 12. Yo, what's up, me. man? What's that's up, me. bro? Oh, uh, what's up, man? How you doing, man? What you, what's, what's going what's on, man? Nah, something's wrong with my YouTube. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Oh, shit. oh okay. Damn, like, damn, hey, damn, Mark, have some gratitude. Yeah, man, my bad for not having gratitude, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, my bad. That's how you know that lady was black, man. Even if she how to say you black without saying you black, man. Pronounce gratitude, man. I, I even say that shit like that too, man. I'm a son man, man. Fuck that Gratuity. shit. I'm, I'm gonna start Gratuity. saying that too, man. I'm gonna start using that, man. When I when I when I when I because I, I tip well, man. I'm I ain't gonna lie, man. I got some DoorDash, man. Today that food that I just ate, I DoorDashed, man. Guy was right up the street, man. He was like five minutes away, man. I tipped him ten dollars, man. I don't play, man. I believe in tipping on um, DoorDash people, man. Yeah, I just tipped. I just tipped to a restaurant too. Yeah, man. Um, we gotta break, but break the myth, man. Um, stereotypes, man. Shit, man. Look at this guy, man. Goddamn pants sagging and shit. You can tell, man. Look, some of these white people out here, man. I'm telling you, man. Nah, I, those are some white people like that. We we got that same little yeah. problem in our in our city too. Yeah, Boston, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, well, y'all got y'all got y'all got um homegrown. These motherfuckers are transplants. Nah, real um, shit, real shit. Yeah, and, and 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 here's the fucked up part about it, man. As I've been searching white history, man, one thing I've learned is that even in the like the 15, 1600s, the King, Queen Elizabeth, Victorian age, all that shit, King Arthur, all that bullshit. Um, most whites were peasants and serfs. Nah, real shit. They were. You know what I'm saying? It was a very small part of the white population that took over the whole world. <laughs> I'm talking about like probably like 1% of white people is responsible now they had fucking the other white people working you know on their behalf and shit but as far as like creating writing systems and shit languages and vent inventing like things like sailboats and shit like that and steel and how to forge steel and shit like that it's a very small group of white people that did that man 
statement, saying in part he's lobbying for community ambassadors for the area, and 300 neighbors have already signed a petition demanding the mayor fix things fast. As for Jay, who bought her condo in 2014, when the surroundings looked like this, she and her family have been trying to leave. 2022, we tried to sell our unit, but we couldn't sell it. Oh and yeah, if you got DoorDash, I, I suggest you, you, you get the DoorDash pass. That DoorDash pass, that's the only reason I ordered DoorDash. Because when you got DoorDash and you don't have the DoorDash pass, it's a fee for this, a fee for that. Your shit might, say your shit costs $28, right? After the fees, your shit going to be $75. I want to say like 75 bucks. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then you got yeah. tip. <laughs> in New, in New York, yeah. man. 80 bucks, 85 In New York, you don't have to tip them, man, because you know what their minimum wage is now? Oh what? What's that? Bucks an hour. Oh wow! I didn't know that because I did. I got some. I got some Uber Eats when I was in. No, I think it was DoorDash when I was in Harlem last time. I got some Popeyes. I got like a, a bucket of chicken. It was eighty bucks, man. But I didn't Whoa. have a DoorDash pass. I didn't have the DoorDash pass back then. It was well, fees. I, it's the fees, man. You get automatic Grubhub Plus uh, with Amazon too. I think. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Two years, you know. Yeah, yeah, salute, salute. Um, oh man, let's we about to get into the main event in a minute, man. Only tonight on Fox, a criminal district court judge sentences an 18 year old to just 10 years after he pleads guilty to killing three young men, family members. <laughs> <laughs> 10 this, years for three murders, 10 years. This is but this is this is how you know it wasn't a white person. That's the type of country we live in now. You know, when you hear that, you 1,000% know that the kid's not white. That's, That's crazy. crazy, ain't it? Yeah, my brother back my brother back in days, like, 01, he got, like, 10 years for attempted murder. That was attempt. Yeah, 10 years for three murders? God. Damn. Yeah, man. You know this kid is, is of color, I, man. I think somebody needs to do... Uh, Only tonight. Do, somebody needs to do gliders in glider land. You know, really, I mean, I mean, really, somebody's got to, you know. They do. It's called.